Hi guys, I am Trisha with Insectopia here to talk to you about a unique insect called the beaded lacewing. This insect can be found on every continent with the exception of Antarctica. What makes them unique? Well, their nymphs release a deadly gas that can affect up to six termites at once. That's one thing. Let's look further into these interesting insects. Beaded lacewings lay their eggs either individually or in clusters, but always on stalks on wood next to termite nests. They will hatch from their egg and fall to the wooden surface, where the active first instar larva will travel to the nearest termite burrow. Interestingly, the termites accept the nymph as one of their own and do not attack it. Scientists even have a name for this kind of termite relationship. The beaded lacewing is a true termitophile. The termites either think the nymph is some weird stepbrother, or they do not perceive the intruder at all. Invisibility cloak, anyone? The nymph has a silent and deadly secret. It lives with its sole food, the termites. The first instar nymph will approach a termite and then retreat. Approach and then retreat until the nymph's anus is waving in front of the termite's head and releasing a noxious gas. Scientists consider this gas an alimone because it negatively affects the termite for the benefit of the nymph that produces it. Funny enough, termites were not repelled by this and seemed completely unfazed by the nymph's anus in front of their head. Did you know that worker termites don't have eyes? It is possible that they do not sense the danger until it is too late. Within three minutes, the termite will be laying on its side, running its legs, and not going anywhere. Another five minutes, and the termite will stop moving completely. The nymph will turn around, approach, and consume the termite. Yummy. Oh, and even though the termite isn't moving, doesn't mean that it's actually dead, just paralyzed. If the nymph doesn't eat the termite right away, the termite can live up to three hours, paralyzed, before dying in its home to an intruder it didn't recognize. The beaded lacewing will continue to do this for one to two weeks before it has eaten enough termites and grown to a point that it can molt into a second instar. The second instar nymph is oddly different than the first instar. It looks like a little C-shaped grub. It has diminished mouthparts in comparison to its younger form. It has legs, but they are missing the claws on the end. It stays stationary for about a week without eating. This is an example of hypermetamorphosis because there are two distinct nymphal forms. When touched, it will wiggle defensively, but that is it. The termites still ignore the fact that they have an intruder even though it could be easily killed. Once the nymph molts into its third instar, it has an even stronger appetite for termites and is even smellier than before. The third instar nymph goes back to looking and acting like the first instar. They are incredibly active and spend their time hunting and eating termites in the termite's own home. The biggest difference is that once the nymph is this large, it no longer needs to flaunt its abdomen and wave it in front of the termite's head. The nymph can produce so much gas that they do not need to be as exact when attacking and can take out a small fleet of termites. In the lab, they were seen paralyzing up to six termites at once, and they will continue to eat and grow for another month or two, depending on the species. Once it is full grown, the nymph will spin a silky white cocoon and pupate. It has the ability to spin silk and connect its pupa to the substrate. The pupa is a resting stage in between the nymphal and adult stage. After 20 to 30 days of rest, the beautiful beaded lacewing will emerge from a pupa, climb out of the termite's home, and search for a mate to start the cycle over again. Let's check out some images of beaded lacewings. Thank you for listening. Please feel free to check the description box for primary research that you can read about these interesting insects. Our buggy question is, what part of this life cycle surprised you the most? Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Come back soon to check out our next epic insect tale.